Hello and welcome to VLOOKUP Hacks, hack number three, exact match. My name's Jeff, and I'm glad that you're here. Okay, let's say we want to do a list comparison. Wait, what, a list comparison? Yeah, it just means you know we have two, two tables or two lists, and we want to compare them. Like, we want to find values that are on one list that are not on the other list. Accountants frequently refer to this kind of thing as you know, a reconciliation. So let's just take the most basic reconciliation we can think of, which is a basic bank rec. All right? Here we have some activity from our check register. And we want to find any checks that are also on the bank activity that we downloaded from the website. In other words, have the checks cleared the bank, or are they still outstanding? Okay. So let's see if we can use VLOOKUP to accomplish this. Equals VLOOKUP. We want the function to go find this check num, comma, in the bank activity, okay, comma, and return the amount. The amount in the second column, so we'll use two. Close the function and enter. And hmm, let's see here. 1001 returns 86, that looks right. 1002 returns 110, that looks right, but 1003 doesn't appear, yet the function returns 110. What's going on? Well, we talked about this in the previous VLOOKUP hacks uh, videos. When the fourth argument is true or omitted, Excel is performing a range lookup, which means when it's finding 1003, any value that is greater than or equal to 1002 and is less than 1004 will return 110. And that's exactly what we see. And so we would expect that um, when we do a range lookup. But here's the hack. When that fourth argument is set to false, the function returns an NA error when a matching value is not found. So let's go ahead and modify our VLOOKUP function and change that fourth argument to false. False means I'm doing an exact match, not a range lookup. So now when I hit enter, okay, this looks better. Okay, it's easy for us to see which checks have cleared the bank because the values are returned, and which checks are still outstanding because NA is returned. It's telling us, Jeff, I can't find 1003 in the list. It's not there, so NA. Okay, so that is how we can leverage this fourth argument to do basic list comparisons or reconciliations. So we're good, right? Well, not so fast. Okay, because this is an NA error, it will trickle down through any related formulas or any dependent formulas, any formulas that refer to this range. For example, if we flip on the total row, we're going to notice that this total formula also returns NA because it is adding up the values in this range and if any of those cells have the error, then the formula returns an error. It's no problem though. We can get help from the if error function. And the if error function returns the first argument when it's good. But when the first argument is an error, any kind of Excel error, then it will return the second argument instead. So we can replace the error with something of our choice. For example, maybe we wanted it to return zero instead. So we could use zero and hit enter. And with that replacement done, our sum works. Or maybe we want to replace it with a text string. So we can enclose any text string within quotes, and we'll go with outstanding and enter. Okay? Either way is fine. So that's the point. When the fourth argument is false, Excel returns the NA error when an exact matching value can't be found. Then we can use the if error to sort of control um, that error and, and display something else instead if we want to, uh, just by specifying that value in the second argument. All right? Hopefully this helps. VLOOKUP is an amazing, amazing function. So hopefully this helps, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.